I'm uh, Chris Mel, and I work as the policy director at Headwaters Economics. Headwaters has a deep interest in how economies are functioning, whether at the local level or the statewide level, especially across the American West. And when we look at these, we find that Western states are outperforming other states across the country. And what we've really learned is that one of the reasons this is happening is because of public lands. The quality of life in Montana is perceived and is frankly higher than a lot of other places in the country. Here in Bozeman, we have what we call a visit and stay factor. People visit the area, they fall in love with it, and they decide instead of just being a tourist that they want to live here. They're an entrepreneur, they come here and create jobs, uh, they retire here. Either way, they're bringing their energy, their investment income, uh, and their wealth to our community. And public lands are an integral part of that process. So we know that it's benefiting. Our research shows that for every 10,000 acres of public lands that you have, you see an increase in per capita income of more than $400. So it's a significant amount. If you're increasing a national monument by 100,000 acres, you're likely to see a considerable increase in per capita income in that community.